Right, it's finally here. Well, the beta version of it, it's finally here. A lot of you guys were really excited about this plugin and in this video, I'm gonna share the beta version of the plugin so that when I release it, it's in the best possible conditions. Now, I was actually working on creating a little cool video or like cinematic piece for the intro of this video, but I was just not gonna have enough time for all of it yet. So I'm gonna leave that part for the actual launch video, I guess. So let me just show you how the effect works. First of all, what we need is to install this effect. Now, let me drag this folder right here. Now, I wanted to make this really professional looking and I created this sort of like installer, which is basically a zip file that I changed into a self-extracting file, which it looks sort of like when you install a program, right? And then here it gives you the path automatically so that you're able to extract both the media and the DRFX files right into the Fusion templates folder. Now, the only problem with these is that for some reason, even my system, when I upload it to like Dropbox and then re-download it to test it out, I also tested it out on my laptop, it detects it as a virus and you have to just go and allow it and it just makes things a little more, more tedious and annoying. So I'm just gonna leave these as a zip file for now until I'm able to figure out. So if you open this as a WinRAR or with like WinRAR, you will see that's literally just the DRFX file and the media files for the actual paper folds, right? So what you're actually gonna get is not this installer file, but it will be this zip file, which has both of them. And all you have to do is open this in WinRAR if you're not sure where the path is. And here you have the text where you would want to extract both of these files to, right? Uh, it's the same thing that happens when you double click the DRFX file. And actually it's not this one, it's, don't worry about it, but it has the same exact thing, right? And here will be the DRFX file and the media files and also the paper fold sounds. And here's where you will install this. And then if you're on Mac, you would have to use this path. I think that's correct. If you're on Mac and this is not the correct path for the Fusion templates, then let me know so that, so that I can update these. Now, why are we using this path? Well, the reason why you wanna put these in that exact path is that the way that I set up the loader is that if you go into Fusion and then go to Fusion, and then fusion settings, you can see all the different paths right here, the path map and the loader node is set up to search for these templates. So it's set up with templates and then it has all the other path from the actual folder that has the media files, right? So if you don't put this in the fusion templates folder, it's not gonna be able to find the files and it's not gonna work, right? So make sure you put that there because it's a key step so that these can work on your computer all right now let's go back to the edit page and i'm going to show you how the effect actually works so first we're going to use this image and then we'll have that video too both of them work on the effects tab go to suave and then you will have to find the paper full effect and then just drag and drop that there and let me just drag these to the video as well here if we press play already you will notice that this image is actually moving along with the paper. So it actually looks realistic, right? Well, a little bit ago, I mentioned that I found a way to make this work in studio. Then I found a way to make this work in the free version using a planar tracker. So what you have to do when you add this to your effect or to your clip, basically, is you have to go here to the inspector. Let me open this. We're in the full screen. And here it says media tracker. If I press X, and delete all the splines, this is what it will look like. So it looks just like a still image and it has that overlay there, right? So this step makes it look a lot better and more realistic per se. And what you wanna do is press go and this will send you to where I set up the tracking markers basically. And if you wanna know exactly what's happening because this is supposed to be dynamic, if you stretch it up a little bit longer, you will have to track this, right? So go to Fusion up here, and then you can see everything that's happening in here. And you can see the tracker here, if you wanna see this on where the timeline is. And if you press go, it will take you there, but then you wanna track backwards or track to start, 
and that will create all the keyframes and then you will have to go again or press go again and then track forward all the way till the end well that, actually that wasn't it it's this one and then if we press this zoom to fit we'll see that all the keyframes were created so that our paper is there and so now our paper is tracked onto the paper our image is tracked onto the paper and then it works as if it was a normal one now there's a little bit i'm not sure if it's just on my end because on my, on my laptop this didn't happen this little flicker but this will be part of the beta test if that happens on your end let me know so that i can look into it and fix that so yeah that is basically how it works for that first step then you have the overall position which allows you to move both of them so the paper itself if we put this on top of something else we can see both of them are moving like that and it shows up like that you can also animate these so if you want to make these come from off screen for example or something like that then you can do that as well now there's these are for both of them moving at the same time then we have the media transform which is only the image or the video that you're using moving and adjusting those things only then we have the angle which are pretty straightforward and then you can flip this then we have the media view options which is the blending mode or the apply mode which is how these uh looks when you put these onto your paper or how the image looks right so i found that hard light works pretty well and it looks really good because it really takes all the creases and adjusts to them but you can play around with them and adjust the gain and blend until you get to a point that you like now the last one would be the paper base position which is only moving the paper so if you want to make the paper smaller only just for whatever reason then you can do that too now one last thing i forgot to mention is that this paper view control if you click this paper view control the paper fall effect will only happen within the media that you added and in this case that is when this paper base transform comes in really handy because you can adjust the paper size only and that way it looks a little bit more complete or not just like a big fold happening at the same time, right? Like that, for example. If you increase the length of the clip, you have to go to the media tracker and make sure to track it again. That way it doesn't stay still after a certain point and then the paper keeps moving. It looks like an overlay, weird overlay like that, right? And if you apply this effect to a video, you have to delete all the tracking points, press go, and then track backwards and then go again and then track all the way to the end now the only weird thing is that it doesn't show you anything here like there's no pop-up or anything that shows you that it's tracking so you're not really sure when it's done tracking so if you're not sure and you don't want to wait you can go into fusion as like i showed you earlier and then if we press play we have that image there moving and after you have the tracking done you can move everything uh without worrying too much about it right so if we press that there and we have that like that so that is basically the effect now for the full version i wanted to add a bunch of more extra images from like public libraries and stuff like that so that you have a bunch of like pre-made uh things that you can just drag and drop into your timeline but i will be mentioning more on that when that actually comes out and we'll see how that goes now to download this all you have to do is go to the link in the description then you will be signing up to the email list so that I have like a special group for beta testers so that I know who is who, right? And then you will just automatically get an email with the downloadable file that then you have to install or extract onto the appropriate folder. And then the day after I will send you an automated email asking for feedback so that you can share your feedback and also your thoughts on what could be better, what should be added, what should be taken out, etc, etc. So that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this beta and this is the previous step before the final release. The final release I think will have like 13, maybe 10 or, 10 or 13 individual animation styles and as time goes on I will probably add more stuff, right? So. Make sure to download it and let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one here in Slavic. Bye.